good morning. I hope you can hear me today because we got a strong northeast wind at 20 miles an hour and it's blowing all that road noise from the interstate our way. So I'm going to try to talk loud so you can hear me. But uh, today we're going to talk about tomatoes, planting our tomatoes. And you'll remember um, a couple of months back we released a video on the uh, tomato cages and uh, people really liked them. I've got a lot of feedback and people are actually building them and putting them in the garden this year. And I had a great question from one of our subscribers. I always emphasize rotation of your crops. And uh, this, this subscriber asked, well, these are permanent cages we put in the ground and leave them year round. How do you rotate your tomatoes? Excellent question. Uh, the, the short answer to that is, is we don't rotate the tomatoes, we actually rotate the dirt that's underneath them. what I'm going to use in the hole I'm going to um, use uh, three equal parts of cow, black cow cow manure uh, the peat moss and the miracle Grove cotton mix I mix all three of these together equally in my wheelbarrow up here and uh, this will be what I use to uh, use for my planting material for the tomatoes what I do is I remove the dirt that I had from last year down about 10 inches. Next thing I do is I add in my fish. I get this from my local bait store. A lot of times I have small fish that we catch when me and Nancy are out fishing and I'll put them in the freezer and save them. Uh, this is a terrific fertilizer, purely organic, and there's nothing better than fish emulsion. Put the fish in the hole. I cover up the fish with some garden lime. This is good because it, uh, it's good for the tomatoes on that blossom end rot. They like getting some lime. And then uh, it also keeps the smell down because when this fish starts to deteriorate and decompose, if it's not, if it's not limed, you'll be able to smell it and animals smell it like raccoons and possums and dogs and stuff they'll come over and dig up trying to get to this fish and they dig up your tomato plant but that's okay they're just doing what comes natural to them so put some lime on it next step is, is I take my potting mix that we just mixed together and I fill the hole What I'm going to plant here is a cherry tomato. It's a Celebrity 100. Nancy loves these things. Put it in the hole. And I take my uh, bamboo canes and I trap that tomato. I trap it by its own leaves, its own leaf system. You see that 25 mile an hour wind ripping out here. Having this in here stabilizes that plant and 
until it can get established and it keeps it from bouncing around so much and holds it still so that those roots can get going without being snatched around all the time popping off them little fibrous roots okay so now we got the um, we got the tomato installed next step is, is I come around the outside of my cage and I just pull the dirt up like this I kind of berm it up a little bit and it kind of makes a water berm holds the water in a little bit better I get that other side and basically God does the rest from here all right we thank you for watching today we appreciate it and uh, we're gonna come back in a few weeks and check on our tomatoes and we'll do a follow-on video showing these things as they come all the way through the top of this cage it'll be beautiful and uh, if you like our videos we invite you to subscribe to our channel and uh, until next time we see you always remember by his hands we are fed. fed. Give us, Lord, Lord our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.